Timkit. Timkit is one of the most spectacular religious festivals in the world. It's vibrant and incredibly beautiful. It is one of the highest and holiest holidays in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. What is Timkit after all? Timkit is an Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church celebration of Epiphany. Thus, Timkit is celebrated to commemorate the baptism of Jesus Christ by John the Baptist in the River Jordan. Hence, it is ritual reenactment of baptism. The colorful celebration through grandiose processions reflects Ethiopia's rich cultural heritage and deep-rooted traditions. Side note, Eritrean Orthodox Tuahedo Church also celebrates Timkit just the same way Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church celebrates it. Where in Ethiopia is Timkit celebrated? Timkit is celebrated all over the country wherever there are Ethiopian Orthodox churches. However, according to many people, the three top spots are Lolibela, Jan Maida in Addis Ababa, and Gonda. We will come back to each of them later in this video. When is Timkit and how long is the festival? Timkit is celebrated every year on January 19th, but on January 20th during leap years. However, one can also say it is a three-day celebration. The three days are the Eve, the Timkit Day, and the Archangel Michael Day. These three celebration days are full of rituals, spectacular processions, religious songs, dances, and prayers. Let us see them one by one. The Eve Keturah 18th January. The celebration starts on the eve of the main festival. This eve day is known as Ketera, which means blocking the flow of water for the blessing of the celebrants. On the Ketera, people escort their locality church Abo to Timkit Bahir, a place where the Tobit stays overnight. At this place, there should be a lake, a pond, a river, a pool, or artificial reservoir where the communal baptism is to take place the next day. If you wonder about what Tabot is, it refers to a replica of the two stone tablets, onto which the Biblical Ten Commandments were inscribed. Tabot can also refer to a replica of the Ark of the Covenant in the Ark that contained the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. So, on the afternoon of January 18th, the tabo from each church is reverently wrapped in rich clothes and borne by high priests on head and makes procession escorted by priests church followers and tourists to the place where Timkit will be celebrated the next day. The procession is accompanied by a great ceremony including the Sunday school members' songs and traditional songs. A lot of people spend the evening and the night attending night-long prayers and hymn and liturgy services. Timkit, 19th January Millions of people participate in the actual festival on the 19th of January. The main Timkit celebration starts early in the morning with before sunrise rituals, which include divine liturgy, hymn, morning mass, and Wirib Ethiopian Orthodox Church's special singing. Then follows the blessing and sprinkling of blessed or holy water on the assembled congregation in commemoration of Christ's baptism in the hands of John the Baptist, symbolizing a resurrection to a new life in Christ. At around 10 a.m., each tabo except the tabots from St. Michael's Church begins its procession back to its respective church. This grand procession with the tabo being carried on the heads of priests and accompanied by the faithful who come to pray and receive blessings is the highlight of the festival. 
and it involves a magnificent ceremony with various religious songs, traditional songs and dances. The blowing of the traditional Ethiopian trumpet and drumming to mention some. You get amazed by the long red carpets rolled out for the priests carrying a tabo and the escorting priests to walk on. It is just magnificent. Another thing worth mentioning is the harmonica played by the teenagers, especially in Addis Ababa, which gives special youth feeling to the celebration. By late afternoon, all the tabots, except the tabo from St. Michael's Church, are returned to their respective churches in incredibly beautiful procession, rituals and hymns and preaches. St. Michael the Archangel's Day, 20th January, the last day, the third day of celebration is dedicated to celebrations and commemoration of the tabo consecrated in the name of St. Michael. On this day, the tabo from St. Michael's Church is returned to the church from the Tinkit Bahir where it stayed for two nights accompanied by a cheerful crowd who sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs just like the day before. Significance of Tinkit For Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church, Tinkit is one of the most important religious festivals of the year, traditionally. It is known as an important occasion for young adults to choose their would-be lovers. Boys used to throw lemon to the girls they would like to marry. This is all before internet. Which spot in Ethiopia is the best to experience Tinkit? Many people arguably consider Gonda to host the best experience with its majestic 17th century Paul Fazilada's bath surrounding one of the city's many historical palaces. There are a lot of young people that jump in the Fazilada's bath and immerse themselves in water, and they believe it is their renewing of their baptismal vows. Gonda gives spectacular celebrations. Tinkit in Lalubela is breathtaking. One of the most beautiful Tinkit celebrations occurs in the historic city of Lolubella at the churches of Lolubella. If you did not know about Lolubella, it is a world heritage site with the churches of Lolubella, a total of 11 medieval monolithic churches which were carved out of rock in the 12th century after King Lolubella had a vision. Lolubella is considered the Jerusalem of Africa by many and it also considered one of the holiest towns in the country. Timkit is celebrated beautifully and colorfully at Lollobella with some uniqueness. When was Timkit's celebration started in Ethiopia? It is believed that the Ethiopian Orthodox Church has celebrated Timkit since the 4th century. Epiphany is celebrated in other countries too, but this three-day celebration with deep solemnity of faith intermixed with exuberance and traditions make it unique in Ethiopia. I think Timkit cannot just be described by words but has to be experienced. Come and see the beauty and atmosphere of the colorful Timkit by yourself. Why don't you book your next travel to the land of origins?